So today I went to the dirt track and I was driving into a corner and then somebody in front of me fell and I had to drive exactly my motorcycle on top of it. So his foot pack was slamming in here and let's find out the damage. So you can see here, it's a big tent and let's find out if we can repair this. So make sure always to clean so you can see your parts. The magnet is holding it. Underneath you can see. And it's, it hasn't damaged any further. So it's only the casing. The cable road is here. Then it goes around here, as you can see here. And then you have this, these wires here. If I pull a little bit here, then you see this blue connector. It's a little bit dirty inside, so we have to clean those as well. So here we have it on the workbench <coughs> and we're going to remove this further. It's also a denting a little bit. So we're going to clean this and then we're going to try to weld. Jij bij Weld. I'm gonna make this nice and clean. Also the inside. And then I'm gonna make a piece of aluminum in here. So here I have a piece of thick aluminum, I'm gonna make this fit in here.
also apply even the away road. Okay, the easiest way to mix this is go up and down. Up and down, up and down. Press a little bit and just make sure all the contacts are with the bay weld. Also on here, make sure it's all contacted the bay weld. Turn around and see how it's in here, how it looks. And also a little bit with the screwdriver. Alright, so that's it, now we can let it dry. So it's now a couple hours later, make it smooth a little bit with my finger, just a little bit. And just a little bit smoother it's just cosmetics you don't have to do it and also inside so it's fully dried now and it's pretty hard and here you can see also it's pretty neat at the moment and if i want to install it on here and hold it here it's a nice fit Clean this a little bit.
So there's oil coming out. So make sure this hole is visible because there in here goes the oil into this, the main jet. All right. So there it is. It's on. So I think this cover saved me a lot because this is very rough, rough plastic. So that is awesome. So I'm going to reinstall this again. Now I have to reroute the wires. All right, like so. And then I use this little bit oil. So behind the clutch cable. Now it can go behind here. I have to... Alright, so I use here a new tie rip. And then I use for the other one copper paste. Uh, just a little bit in here. And in here. I like my wires being fixed, so I'm gonna tie rip it here as well. So here we have the oil drain, and this is a copper ring and I'm going to heat the copper ring and then cool it off and then I can reuse it again. After heat treatening you can use it again. First I have to clean a little bit. clean so one liter Always change the new filter. You have to 
put this in front of you and down and then you can lower it a little bit downwards like so. Here we have a filter, clean it a little bit. Alright, make sure it clicks and then you'll be alright. Here we have it. I think I've fixed it. There's no oil leaking here now. So I'm just gonna let it run. There's no oil leaking here. Oh, this is great. I'll keep you updated. So it looks like it's repaired now with JB Weld. I made a mistake. The engine cover is from magnesium and I tried to weld it with aluminum and that ain't gonna work.